whole uh, question of, of truth in memoir kind of startled me more than it did most people, that there would be such a sense of outrage that a memoirist would be caught lying. I mean, I thought that was the definition of memoir. You know, it's like, sit down next to me and tell me a good story. I don't, you know, I don't care if it's true or not. I, I think there's a, there's a hierarchy of um, veracity in nonfiction. I think with the top being history, historians have to pass muster with other historians on a pretty, microscopic level. They hold each other to the fire. And then maybe under that you'll have biography. There are biographers who are every bit as scrupulous as historians. Um, but there, there's also a fine tradition of the unauthorized biography. Then you get autobiography and memoir. And I, that's a free-for-all if you ask me. Uh, I, I was so shocked to go to a party after the, the James Fry incident and see how angry people were that they had been lied to. It was as if they had, you know, somebody, their boyfriend had been sleeping around. They were that betrayed. And I think people need to become a little more sophisticated as to what the standards of truth are among various um, nonfiction venues. Mm -hmm.